Welcome everyone to Mamados Medical Media, a free online YouTube channel, weekly posting new medical videos. Join our Facebook and Telegram groups for more interaction and latest news. You could also support the channel on Patreon, where we upload multiple choice questions and other premium content. Thanks in advance. Hi everyone and welcome to our third video in this series about physiology of pain. In this video, we look at an interesting topic called referred pain and the mechanism and theories behind it. Then we will take a quick look at a process called hyperalgesia. Starting with referred pain, so referred pain is a term used to describe pain that is not felt on the site or tissue that got the damage, but it is felt on other side on the body far from the origin. Pain is referred in most of the time according to the dermatomal distribution. And we talked about dermatomal distribution in our previous video. Now we will look at this dermatomal body map and we will take examples for referred pain. Example number one, pain coming from the heart tissue or the myocytes, the heart muscles, is referred to many sites like the epigastrium, the skin of the whole chest, we call it the pericordium, the inner aspect of the left arm and sometimes even to the lower jaw. When we look at this dermatomal map, we find that these sites are innervated by the same nerve roots coming out of the third cervical segment till the fifth thoracic spinal cord segment. So we say for example, pain of myocardial infarction is referred to the lower jaw, neck or the left arm and shoulder or the epigastrium for a specific patient. Another example is the diaphragm and in this case the pain is referred to the tip of the shoulders. Pain from inflamed appendix is referred to the whole abdomen due to the peritoneal irritation by the appendix. But it is felt stronger in the center of the abdomen or we call it the umbilicus or the umbilicus. So we say pain of acute appendicitis is referred from the right iliac fossa to the area around the umbilicus or the central area of the abdomen. Other example is the kidneys where pain is referred to the area of the costal vertebral line or we call it area. Pain for the ureters is referred to the testicles while pain from the trigon of the bladder is referred to the tip of the penis. Another example is the toothache or we call it tooth pain and it's one of the most noxious type of pain. It's referred to the head, also inflamed nasal sinuses, middle ear or intracranial mass. All of these are contributing factors for causing headache, overexposure of the eyes to the light or even emotional stress, which is not even physical, but causes the pain we call headache. Now let's take a general look in trying to explain the mechanism of referred pain. So we have two afferents from two different sides but they carry pain impulses to the same spinal cord segment. A misinterpretation takes place because the number of afferents coming from the skin is much more in number than afferents coming from the viscera. So pain impulses when reaching the brain it will read it like this. A lot of pain signals coming from the skin meaning a high intensity stimulation. A few pain signals coming from the viscera resulting in a low intensity impulses or moderate pain we could call it and this is what we call error of projection or secondary hyperalgesia because the skin in this case is healthy but still sending pain impulses and highly sensitive to pain now there are two theories explaining the phenomenon of referred pain the first one is more of anatomical explanation of the phenomenon and it's called the convergence theory convergence theory states that Pain afferents or the nociceptors from two different sides having their cell bodies on the dorsal root ganglia converge together and send impulses to the same second order neuron. Misinterpretation occurs and because the skin is more exposed to stimulation and have larger area of presentation in the brain map, the brain's encoding to this sensory information coming is like a severe pain coming from the skin and a mild pain coming from the viscera itself and as we mentioned we call this error of projection then other theory explaining this phenomenon is more of physiological explanation it's called the facilitation theory 
and it states that pain afferents coming from the skin always carry impulses but these impulses are weak and does not produce pain we call it subthreshold partial depolarization or local potential now when tissue damage happens to the viscera innervated by the same spinal cord segments as the skin then afferents from this viscera will send subthreshold signals just like the skin and then summation of these electrical potentials is what produces action potential action potential is then conducted through its pain pathway till reaching the brain which will encode it as pain coming from the skin now that we are done with the concept of referred pain let's take a quick look into the concept of hyperalgesia so hyperalgesia is the hypersensitivity of a tissue in the body to pain stimulation hyperalgesia could be primary hyperalgesia where the release of chemicals like histamine and prostaglandins after tissue injury results in lowering the threshold of this damaged tissue to pain making it hypersensitive even to touch sometimes example of this is the hypersensitivity of a sunburned skin to touch then we have secondary hyperalgesia in secondary hyperalgesia facilitation from other damaged area occurs what we called referred pain causing the skin in most of the time to be hypersensitive to pain signals in this case applying of local anesthetic to the skin might be helpful in easing the pain which also prove the correctness of the facilitation theory and so guys that's it uh, for this video our next video we will look at the gate control theory the opiate system and management of pain so thanks for watching and we see you next time